Hi everyone! Welcome to the Detroit Symphony Orchestra's Tiny Tots. My name's Deborah, and I'm here to share with you what we love the most at the DSO, and that's making music. Now, are you watching with your families? That's great! The reason why I ask is because the orchestra is made up of four families. It's made up of the string family, the woodwind family, the brass family, and the percussion family. Now I borrowed some instruments from my friends from the orchestra and I want to share with you what kind of instruments the orchestra is made up of. Just a few. Let's see what we have here. We have this instrument. Can you guess what this instrument's called? This is the French horn. Now can you guess which family the French horn belongs to? That's right, it's the brass family. Now brass instruments, like this French horn, is made up of metal, all of this is metal, and it's usually played on a mouthpiece like this. And the musicians buzz through this mouthpiece. Put it right here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So that is a French horn from the brass family. Now this instrument, it's an instrument that I play. I grew up playing. Do you know what this is called? I'll show you. This is called the flute. Now, can you guess what family the flute belongs to? That's right, it belongs to the woodwind family. Now, the instruments in the woodwind family usually play on reeds, which are little pieces of wood that you put in a mouthpiece and blow through to vibrate, to make sound. But the flute is the only one you blow into. It's pretty cool. Other members of the flute family include the oboe, the bassoon, the saxophone, uh, the clarinet. It's pretty cool, huh? Now I would say the family that my kids enjoy the most is the percussion family. Now the percussion family is a huge family, it has the most members, and basically it's anything you can hit, uh, scrape, shake. So my friend dropped this off for me to show you guys. This, let me see if I can move it, is a snare drum. Can you see that? Now a snare drum, you can play it many different ways. You can hit it, you can tap it, you can have sticks to play. This is a maraca. You make, you shake it to make a sound. Also part of the percussion family. And another member of the percussion family is tambourine. You can shake, you can tap, you can even scrape it. It's pretty cool, right? So that's the percussion family. And the last family I want to show you who we'll talk about the most is the string family. This is from a special friend and um, this is called a violin. Now the violin is the smallest in the string family. The one slightly larger is called the viola and even larger than the viola is the cello and the biggest uh, string instrument is called the bass. Now string instruments usually are made of wood like this and have strings. And you can either bow by using this bow right here. You see that? You can bow. Or you can even pluck. That's pretty cool, isn't it? The string family. Now, would you like to learn more about the string family? great because we wrote a special song just for you. Would you like to listen? All right, here is the String Family song. Oh, can't make music for me and you. What do you 
Did you enjoy the song? That's great. Now, did you notice how the musicians playing were moving and swaying back and forth while they were playing like this? Or even looking at each other while they were playing? These movements are a way of talking to each other without using words. And it's also a way of helping each other know what to expect in the music. For example, when I sing, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. My head moving back and forth like this helped you know that I wanted to sing the song pretty fast and a little bouncy to make it happy, right? How about this next song? Baby beluga in the deep blue sea, you swim so wild and you swim so free. Now me moving back and forth like this and swaying, hopefully told you that I wanted to sing the song a little slower and more smoothly, right? Now, speaking of helping out, do you like to help out in your family? Perhaps it's helping to clean up your house or helping your little brother or sister brush their teeth. But whatever it is, family is all about being there for each other, right? In this next part, you'll hear a story about a family who goes on a trip, but they encounter a little problem, but they solve it together in the end. Would you like to hear it? Join me with members of the DSO performing the Ravel String Quartet and you'll get to hear that bunny story we mentioned. Now let's put on your listening ears. Shh, shh. Are you ready? All right. Ready? Get set. Go. Wow, what a beautiful summer day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and you can feel the warm breeze against your skin. Sister, brother, we have a surprise to share, said mom and dad. We're going to go on an adventure together. Let's go camping. Oh, wow, the children shouted. It's going to be a summer adventure. Come on, let's go pack. The children ran up the stairs as fast as they could. They grabbed their bags and began to pack for their special trip. What would you bring on a camping trip? The car is all packed up and everyone is ready to go. This is going to be so much fun. Let's go. Do you see the bright red cardinal flying? Let's
let's pretend we're a bird and fly to the music. trip is over. Everyone runs out of the car to stretch their legs and breathe in the cool, fresh air. Why don't we all have a stretch? Oh, that feels good. As the parents unpack the car, the children dash off to play. I'll race you to the top of the hill. Now, let's roll down. Whee! Let's play hide and seek. You come and I'll hide. Ready or not, here I come. Mom, Dad, let's find Sister together. The family continues to play together, hiding and seeking. Can you find where everyone is hiding? That was fun. The family heads back to their tents to rest. Where's Teddy? Where did it go? Did we lose it on the hill? Did I lose it while playing hide and seek? Don't worry, it'll be all right. We'll help you find Teddy. Brother tries to distract sister by showing her flowers and bugs along the way. Everyone is looking for Teddy until they notice the sun fading away. It's getting dark. We should head back to camp. Let's look for Teddy in the morning.
The next morning, the family wakes up and prepares to look for Teddy. As they approach the top of the hill, a sudden gust of wind almost knocks them over. Oh no! I think it's a storm! The wind is howling and the trees sway back and forth. Hold my hand. We'll be just fine if we stay together. The storm finally passes and the search continues. performance today, as well as learning about the different families of the orchestra. We'll see you soon. Have a good night. Bye.